Hello, dear students. Welcome to our lesson. Hope you're okay and ready to study. Let's start our lesson. Don't forget to take your notebooks and a pen or a pencil to make notes. Today, we'll continue discussing the animal world. We will read the text. We will learn some new vocabulary. We will do a listening task and we will look at some grammar. Look at the screen. Here you can see anagram. Try to solve it to find out what animal we are going to talk about in today's lesson. You are right. We are going to talk about eagle. Now I would like to write down any fact you know about eagle. Great job! Now, let's continue with some new vocabulary. Here on the screen you can see six new words. Let's read them together. Wings Wings Big Big Eyes Eyes Tail, tail, talons, talons, plumage, plumage. Now, look at the screen. Exercise one. Look at the picture. Match the descriptions AF to the correct body part 1 and 6. You are given time. Well done. Now, let's check your work. Right. If you have chosen all words correctly, great job. If you have two or three correct answers, well done. Now, exercise two. Read the title. Of the text, what do you know about golden eagle? Are they endangered species? What can you say about the title? Now, uh, let's read the text and uh, to find out. The Golden Eagles of Kazakhstan. The Golden Eagle has been a symbol of freedom, power and courage for thousands of years. It has been part of the culture of Kazakhstan for centuries, which is why it was chosen to be the national animal and appear on the country's flag. Let's take a closer look at these impressive birds of prey. Habitat and Distribution Golden eagles are fairly widespread in Kazakhstan, inhabiting open countries such as mountains, steppe and desert. There are four subspecies of golden eagle in the country, 
and each one generally breeds in a different area, although their territories sometimes overlap. The Crisatos subspecies most commonly nests in the west, the Kamchatka in the north, the Homayri in the Kazilkum Desert, and the Daphnia in the Tian Shan Mountains. Appearance and Behavior The name of these beautiful birds might seem misleading at first, because their plumage is mainly dark brown. However, their name comes from the golden feathers on their heads and necks. Like other raptors, they have sharp talons to snatch up their prey and hooked beaks to help them consume it. As one of the largest birds of prey, full-grown adults can weigh between 3 and 6.6 .6 kilograms, and their wingspan can be over 2 meters. They soar high on air currents, conserving energy by reducing the need to beat their enormous wings. They are still capable of achieving great speeds, though. They can dive at up to 240 kilometers per hour. Golden eagles often engage in aerial play, dropping a stick mid-air and diving to catch it before it reaches the ground. Diet Golden eagles are carnivores and prey on rodents, hares, rabbits, and even foxes. They usually capture live prey, but they also feed on carrion. What makes them expert hunters is their amazing eyesight. They can detect small animals at distances of 1.5 kilometers. Their large eyes function far better than human eyes in daylight, because while our retinas contain 200,000 cones, the cells that help us differentiate between colors per square millimeter, golden eagles have about a million. Nesting Golden eagles often mate for life and build their nest together, returning to it for multiple breeding seasons. In some cases, nests have been used continuously for decades. Golden eagles begin reproducing at four to five years old and can live for up to 30 years in the wild. An eagle's nest is called an eyrie, and it can be 1.5 meters across or even larger. The female lays one to three eggs in the nest, and the incubation period is about 45 days. It takes another 60 to 70 days for the chicks to fledge, and about 100 days for them to become independent and leave their parents. Conservation Sadly, golden eagles are in danger in Kazakhstan and have been for the past 30 years due to the illegal hunting of adult eagles and accidental deaths on electrical power lines. Conservation groups have been working to change the situation and the Sunkar Reserve is currently breeding golden eagles and releasing them into the wild each year to increase the population. Thanks to this initiative, the future of Kazakhstan's beloved eagle looks bright once again. Well, I hope you have found the answer. And uh, did you know? Did you know hunting with golden eagles is an ancient art? Petroglyphs from the Bronze Age depicting hunters with eagles have been found in Central Asia. Yeah, very great facts about eagle. Exercise 3. Read the text again. For questions 1, 5, choose the correct answer A, B, C or D. You are given a time. Now, check your answer. Great job! Now it's time to grammar. Today our grammar is passive voice. Passive voice. We form the passive voice with the verb to be in the appropriate tense and the past past participle of the main verb. This uh, 
Passive voice-ты, яни ырықсызец, бұл қазақ тілінде ырықсызец деп атат. Ырықсызец-ты жасау үшін, to be yet тігі менен verb 3. Біздіңше verb 3-ді пайдаланамыз. Яни бұл yet тігтің үшінші формасы, я? Verb 3. Now, for example, in active voice, Tom buys a PC, personal computer. Tom чеке компьютер сатып алды. Ал ырықсыз етісте, ол бұлай болады. A personal computer is bought by Tom. Чеке компьютер сатып алынды. Түке сөз бе сөз аударатын бұсақ, Tom арқылы. Немесе, Tom is buying a personal computer. Tom жеке компьютер сатып алып жатыр. A personal computer is being bought by Tom. Жеке компьютер сатып алынып жатыр. Tom арқылы. O. Tom had bought a personal computer. Tom жеке компьютер сатып алды. A personal computer had been bought by Tom. Жеке компьютер Tom арқалы сатып алынған. Tom will buy a personal computer. Tom жеке компьютер сатып алады. A personal computer will be bought by Tom. Жеке компьютер Tom арқылы сатылып алынады. Бұл келер шақта. Немесе, Tom may buy a personal computer. Tom personal computer, яне жеке компьютер сатып ала алады. A personal computer may be bought by Tom. Жеке компьютер сатып алынуы мүмкін. Немесе, сатып алына алады. Tom арқылы. When we use passive voice, passive voice-ты біз қай кезерді пайдаланамыз? Біз пассив өзді іс-әрекет иесі белгісіз, маңызды, немесе контекстен түсінікті болғанда қолданамыз. For example, Үйлалатау Нәшінал Парк үн Қазақстан үз қиетіді үн 1996. Қазақстандағы Үле Алатау ұлттық сайабағы 1996 жыл құрылды. Бұл жүрде бізге маңыздысы сайабақты кімнің құрған немес? Бастысы саябақтың құрылғаны. The next. We use passive when the action itself more important. Біз сонымен қатар пассив өзді әрекет иесінен көрі үс әрекеттің маңызды болған кезе қолданамыз. Бұл жағдай әдетте ғазет беттерінде тақырыптарда, жанамаларда нұсқалықта кезеседі. For example. Bad weather has been predicted for tomorrow. Ертенге жаман ауа рай болжанған. Оны кім болжағаны маңыз емес. The next. We use passive when we want to avoid taking responsibility. Біз пассив ойысты әрекетке жауап кершілік ауыдан қашқанда, ұңғайсыз жағдайдың есін айтудан бас тартқанда қолдан ұламыз. For example. Fortunately, only a few people were injured when the train derailed. Пойыз апатқа ұшырағанды, аз ғана адам жарақаттанды. Кейде тіпті сәрекет иесін ерекше атаған кезде де пайдаланамыз пасив ойысты. For example, The book was signed by the author himself. Бұл кітапқа автордың өзінің қолтан басы бар. Now, if you have learned passive voice, let's do some exercise. Exercise 4. If you have uh, learned the rules of passive voice, now rewrite sentences 
from 1 till 5 in the passive. You are given time. Well done. Now, check your answer, please. If you have all correct answer, great job. If you have two or three answer, well done. End is the lesson. Now, let's make a poster from the facts you've learned today. Five facts about an Golden Eagle of Kazakhstan. Any five facts. Take a time. Well done. In today's lesson, we have read a text and we have done a listening task. We have learned some new vocabulary and we have looked at some grammar. Thank you for the lesson. Goodbye.